Hi, my name is Jenny Clayville, and I serve as one of the pastors at National Community Church in Washington, D.C., and today's verse of the day is Psalm 20, verse 7. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. Okay, so this verse is one of nine verses in Psalm 20, and I want to encourage you to go back and read this short chapter today all of it. This psalm as a whole was a royal psalm of victory that people would sing over their king before he and his army would go into battle. This is a prayer, an intercession of the community coming together as one voice on behalf of the Davidic king of Israel. And they're asking God to protect and deliver their king because if their king wins the battle, they win the battle. And if their king loses, they lose. So this verse specifically is a declaration of God's help. And we're seeing a contrast in things that we trust in. So chariots and horses, totally solid and reliable resources in battle. Great things to trust in. But this verse says, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. So this is a declaration of their choice to put their trust in the unseen. Now, Obviously, we're not riding around in chariots and horses the same way today, if at all. But if we are going to take this verse and apply it to today's culture and context, how would that look? We all say we trust in God, but is he who we run to first thing when we wake up in the morning or before we fall asleep or when our day goes horribly wrong? For me, my chariots and horses of today are my husband, my kids, my friends, and Honestly, probably my phone. I'm a little bit embarrassed to say. But I mean, these are all good things, right? But do I put my trust in these things more than the one who created me? So today, let's spend some time thinking through what we really put our trust in, and then let's pivot and put our trust back onto God.